there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. You know, the Coastal Conservation Association of Maryland has instituted a rockfish tagging program. Now, we want everybody to know how to properly tag and release a rockfish. So we've invited Mike aboard today. He's the volunteer tagging coordinator for the CCA. And Mike, why do we want everybody else to know how to tag and release a rockfish? So we really need the help of citizen scientists to try to quantify the, the mortality rates for the catch and release fishery. There's always more recreational anglers out on the water than there are fisheries biologists out on the water. So we could really use your help in collecting the data for this program. So pay attention folks, and then all you have to do is go to CCAMD, you can find them all over the web, sign up, get yourself some tags, and help out the rock. One of the first things I realized when I started trying to tag fish was how important it is to be prepared. You gotta be ready for that fish before you ever hook it. So Mike, why don't you tell us, how do you get prepared for the fish? So part of what we're trying to do here is to minimize the amount of time that the fish is out of the water. So you always want to have your ALS tagging needle loaded in your CCA Maryland custom applicator. And you always want to have a tag and the corresponding report card with the custom CCA Maryland label ready to go for when you catch your fish. First thing we want to do is measure the fork length of the fish. This one comes in right about 14.75 inches fork length. If you have a particularly feisty fish, take a wet rag, cover their eyes, that tends to calm them down. So in terms of the tag location, we want to be behind the second dorsal fin, in front of the tail fin, and above the lateral line. The lateral line runs roughly down the middle of the fish. It's the only stripe with another stripe running through it. I'm right-handed, so I try to motorcycle grip the fish with my left hand. And we go above the lateral line, through the fish, pull the applicator needle off. Load the tag as best you can. I'll pull the tag out, or the needle out from the other side. And then you just want to lock the tag. Folks, participating in this tagging effort is a way that you personally can help out the striper fishery here on the Chesapeake Bay. So consider going to ccamd.org backslash fish tag. Go ahead, get yourself some tags. Come on out here, have a good time, and tag up some rockfish.